Kevin Correa with a scoreless first inning. He will face Logan Morrison, Mike Zanino, Dustin Ackley in the bottom of the second. Dick Bramer, Roy Smalley joined by Twins All Star catcher Kurt Suzuki. How's that sound, young man? Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> what was your reaction when you found out uh, that uh, you were going to be representing the Twins and the American League in the All Star game? Uh, you know, I was excited. I mean, it's definitely an honor, and I feel blessed and uh, very humbled that, um, you know, everything worked out well. Well, Kurt, this is Roy. You've had such a terrific first half for the, for the Twins. You've brought a, just a marvelous uh, uh, ability to work with the pitching staff and to uh, to uh, play the catcher position the way uh, it's supposed to be played. You've always done that uh, in your career. You're, you're known for that. It must be uh, tremendously satisfying after a really nice career now to get your Get your first all -star, your taste of um, all star experience after after swinging the bat so well too and doing so much for the Twins. Yeah, you know, like you said, I mean, it's uh, you know it's definitely a blessing and you know uh, for parts of eight seasons, you know, to get my first all star game, uh, especially being in the the home uh, ballpark that you know, the team you play for, is definitely makes it a little bit more special and you know I'm looking forward to it. And I'm going to try to enjoy every part of it. You know, a little bit of a professional whiplash, I guess, for you, Kurt, because last year was not uh, uh, a great year for you with uh, early in the season with Washington. You didn't uh, hit that well. Here's a ground ball to second. Dozier has it. Easy play for the first out. But what was it about this uh, situation in Minnesota that allowed you to blossom uh, as a hitter? Uh, you know, it's a bunch of different things. I, th I think, um, you know, the coaching staff's been awesome. The, the, uh, the players that I get to share the field with, uh, you know, my teammates are, are a great group of guys, and, you know, I, I, it made me feel comfortable from day one. You know, coming into a new team, you know, it's definitely a challenging thing, and, you know, you want to fit in, and these guys make it real easy to come out every day uh, and play and be real comfortable here. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It just, it just felt like the right fit, and everything just seems to be working out real well right now. Player down the right field line, it'll reach the seats one strike. Kurt, as you know, whenever I get a chance around uh, home or uh, when I'm with you all on the road, I, I like to come in the uh, cage and watch you guys work with Bruno and on your uh, your hitting approach and, and uh, stroke. And you're one of the hardest working guys down there. I, I I I take it you and Bruno have developed pretty pretty good rapport. That's got to have something to do with the success you're having at the plate. Yeah, I credit a lot of my success, if not all of it, to, to him. I mean, uh, from day one in spring training, you know, me and Bruno, we, we talked, I mean, every morning at, I think it was 7, 7.30, we'd go in the batting cage every morning, and we'd hit, uh, do do drills, and we'd talk about things and approach and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, what 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 went wrong the last couple of years, and, um, you know, we, we just decided to start from scratch and build a foundation and just being the hitter I am, you know. He's, he's not asking me to hit 30 homers. He just wants me to have a good approach, hit the ball hard, and, you know, have good at bats, and you know that's kind of uh, what I what I've been you know trying to do this year. Just have good quality at bats and just barrel balls up. And you know, like I said, you know, Bruno. I mean, the guy's one of the hardest working guys, uh, coaches that I've known. And uh, you know, we just seem to click from day one, and it's been great relationship so far. One and two, and now two and two to Mike Zanino. Uh, Kurt, I related the story a, a few days ago, uh, a couple of years ago, talking with Joe Torre about his experience in the 1965 All-Star Game, the first one that the Twin Cities held, and he hit a home run in that game, but he said, you know, the highlight for him was catching all those great pitchers that he had to face in the National League, Gibson, Drysdale, Koufax, guys like that. Have you thought at all about that, about who you might get a chance to catch in this All-Star Game? Oh, absolutely. I think all the guys that I, I can't hit off of. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to catch. They're on the team. So I definitely am looking forward to, to not being in the batter's box while they're on the mound and just being behind the plate and uh, being able to catch them because they, they've all got tremendous stuff. And, uh, you know, they're all elite pitchers and rightfully so. You know, all-star game, everybody is well-deserving, well and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Well, you are well deserving. There's no question about that. As I as I told you here before the game, it would have been, in my mind, a travesty had you not uh, uh, been there. And since you are, I just wish you all the very best. And the only advice that I can give you is, just enjoy the heck out of every single moment, every single piece of it. Just have a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you. I will. Zanino drives it to left, and it's a home run. And with that, we'll. Uh, Thank Kurt Suzuki for his uh, time uh, from the Twins dugout, but now the Mariners have taken a 1-0 lead. Zanino's 13th home run of the year.